Adobe's new AI video generator just shocked everyone, and nobody except from me is talking about it. And it might just compete with Kling AI and Minimax. Best part? You can try it out for free. But not only that, their new image gen, in my opinion, is just as good as, if not better than Flux. Look at the results yourself. In terms of realism and customization, currently the free trial is available for those with a Gmail, and at the end I'll show you how to get more trials. Because it's free to try but still limited. Timestamps should be available. Don't forget to like the video. Let's get started. Okay, so recently, Adobe has been making silent moves in the AI space that not a lot of people have mentioned. Now, I do know Adobe themselves have been part of a lot of controversies, but I think them releasing new image generator and video generator tools is really cool. And if you don't want to waste your credits because this is under a free trial, I advise you to watch this video to the end. So firstly, if you click the link in the description, you should be here. As you can see, these are the image tools. These are just, for this one is creating images, then the others are more or less like editing images. Then of course, it's available in Photoshop, for the video models, just go here, click on video, and you can see it's here. As you can see, they have text to video, image to video, and coming soon is text to avatar. So much like what ByteDance recently released, something like that, but this one is where you just provide the script and it generates a talking avatar. Then if you scroll down, this is just more or less it. From here, I can tell it's really good at understanding prompts, but let's see. Let's test it out before we test out the video model. Just click here to image, click on text to image. Then this is what um, people have been trying to generate. As you can see, it's very realistic, but just go here and click on generate. Click on Get Started, then describe what you want. So I just give it this prompt here. Let's see how it does. And this is what it cooked. As you can see, it's decent. Maybe better prompting could fix it. I mean, it did adhere to the prompt, as it was pretty abstract. But let's try an AI influencer. I'll simply type in the appropriate prompt for it. I've tested it out and you'll be shocked how good it would be. So just then you come here and you choose the model. Of course, we want Firefly Image 3. Then for the fast mode, if you turn it on, it's below quality. So just turn it off. Then as per ratio, you can choose any one you want. I'll choose square. Then you can choose the content type. You can choose photo. Then you can also choose the composition, the style, the effect. And one thing that I like about it is that you can also choose the lighting. You can choose the type of lighting you want. Let's select maybe golden hour, then the camera angle, which is another great feature that it has. Then click on generate and let's see what it cooks. Now, boy, oh boy, I want you to take a look at what it did. Oh my goodness, this is seriously realistic. Now I know why some people said that this is better than Flox. Just take a look at it. It's so good. And why I like it is because of the amount of um, things that you can change, the amount of, because um, the amount of customization that you get with it and with the perfect one, your image would be top notch. So let me just change up the prompt a little bit to fully test this out. Because to be honest, I wonder why nobody is talking about it. Then click on generate. Now, boy oh boy, look at what it cooked. And this just look at the level of realism and texturing that it has. I think we can just download this so that we can now take it to the video model. Let's go here and download. Then let's test out the video model. So once you're done with all of that, we just simply go back here, select video, or rather go to video. And let's first of all, try the text to video. Then let's first of all, type in a prompt. For this, I'll try something a bit complex and out of the ordinary to fully get the AI video gen. Let's say, so I've got this prompt here. We'll choose the aspect ratio. We'll choose widescreen. For the video model, it's only this beta version. And for now, probably in the future, there will be more frames per second, but this is what we have now. Then the camera, you can choose whether you want a close-up, extreme close-up. So we want maybe a medium shot. Then what I like about it is it's customization, like we have with this camera angle feature. Now you can choose any one that you want. We will maybe select aerial, then the type of motion. As you can see, once again, a lot of customization, especially for those that don't have any knowledge in AI and prompting. So we'll just click on generate. Okay, so now it is done. And let me show you what it cooked. I remember the prompt was dog with a honeycomb skin. 
That's why the skin is so weird. And as you can see, it's very, very realistic. And this thing literally just generated in eight minutes as of now. Maybe it might be faster or slower after this video, but it generated in barely any time. Let's try another prompt. Let's say this. This one would be specifically for AI influencers. Then, for this, maybe we don't want any motion. Then, we just without any camera angle then we can generate. Okay, well, so now it's done, and I changed the prompt to this. A woman in her room, smiling. And just take a look at the photorealism. As you can see, it's very sharp. It's not blurry, there's no morphing, and everything is okay according to the prompts. Now obviously, if maybe you want an Asian woman, you'd need to put it in the prompt, and so on and so forth. Now, let's try the image to video. For that, you can just go back, then go to video, select image to video. Okay, it's more or less the same thing. Then, you simply click on add first frame. So, if you look down here, I have uploaded the first frame. Then, then to test how the AI understands the image, I'm not adding any prompts yet, and I'll leave everything on default. But, okay, it seems like it tells me to add a prompt. So, I'll just keep the prompt simple, and I'll just be like, woman in her room, or you could just leave the prompt as woman. As the point of this is to see how the video module as a whole understands the image. So, let's click on generate. Okay, so it is done. Look at what it cooked. As you can see, it's pretty decent. The only thing is that the face smudged a little bit, which isn't ideal. But let's try with another photo, and with better prompting, that could maybe fix it. Okay, so yeah, I brought in a new image to test it out. Then, I'll type in a prompt like this. Then, when you're done, let me maybe add something like this. Then, as per ratio, we'll leave it as portraits. Then, I think maybe what affected the last one was the aspect ratio. Let's see. Then, I think we'll leave the others. Maybe we'll put in a zoom out. Then, we'll click on generate. So, as you can see, it did a really, really good job. Okay, so now, I'm trying again with a new image. And this prompt, I would say, maybe move left. Then, we'll change the seed. Then, we'll click on generate. Okay, so now it is done, and let's look at it. As you can see, it did a good job. And at least this time around, the face is consistent. Unlike the first one we did, and if you look at it, it does point. However, it missed when I told it to stand up. But all in all, it's good, and I think Adobe tried. So now to get more out of the trial, simply do this. On a Chrome tab, search for Email Nader. Click on this particular one. You should be here. Now Adobe won't allow normal emails. To solve that, you would need to turn off these other ones. To click on Generate New, and boom, you have a new Gmail to use. Subscribe for more AI tools like this.